Hi, welcome to the Google Chronicle Zero Trust Saperna Edition integration. We're going to walk through the user experience and the different screens when Zero Trust alerts are mapped correctly into the UDM format, which is the Universal Data Model format. Our integration does a field mapping, so we'll go through how that works. And we'll start off by just doing a simple search for an event that already exists. So we see here destination IP, that's the client that's had a detection. So you see there's multiple detections. We have the event column saying it's malicious software, the username is exposed. The event type is scan host, malicious software, and then ransomware is the category. Detected by Saperna Threat Detector. The action is block. Confidence is high. There's a list of the SMB shares, the lockout status. We can come all the way over to the right here. We can see that this was detected by the observer host name. That's the Saperna Eyeglass VM, and that's its IP address. So these are raw events. So how do these get turned into actionable alerts? Well, we'll take a quick look at the alert list, first of all. So here we can see there's a bunch of new alerts that have been created from those events and they've been created by a custom rule. So let's see how that's created next. Rules and detection, rules editor, and click on Supreme Zero Trust. So the documentation will walk you through how to install this. It's pretty straightforward, but you can see here version one of this rule will look for a scan host and a rule of block. Once you use the UDM format, this is a very simple rules engine to create uh, advanced rules. I could go ahead and filter for critical, major, or minor, and so on. In this case, we're only going to match on these two fields, and we'll make sure that this is enabled for live rule processing. It's going to generate alerts, and it will run at least every 10 minutes. And you can simply duplicate the rule that's provided in documentation and customize this if you need to. So what dashboards will be visible once you've got alerts? In Chronicle. So the main dashboard is simply going to list the fact that we have uh, seven alerts. Uh, we have a certain number of events over time. We'll go to the context aware detections and risk. So here we can see the severity is high on this asset. This is the client machine. Again, there's the user exposed. And then here's all the zero trust rules and alerts that were fired. So if we come down, data ingestion and health, you'll just be able to see that the zero trust events are being processed over time and that they're in log type UDM. That's the native format of Chronicle. We'll now take a look at the rules section uh, right here. So we get a straight list of all these alerts. So let's take a look at an alert to see what kind of detail we've got. So down below, you've got all the columns that were mapped. So I won't go through them all, but UDM format, the one here is the IP of the client machine. That's the username. In here, there's a lot of data. Um, there's ways to copy and paste it right out, but the full list of share, uh, files affected is also included in the alert. And this is just native functionality within Chronicle itself. So you can see that that custom rule is detecting both user and host based detections. So we will continue on in the next video and we'll walk through how these events and alerts can be used in the Chronicle SOAR functionality to execute responses from within your security platform and affect changes like snapshots and user lockouts. And so we'll go through that in the next video. Thanks for watching.